Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. Y'all know the drill by now. And for today's video, I have something a little special. Before I get into it, I do want to tell a quick story, but to quickly sum it up, I was looking for a PC on the Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, anything like that. I don't know, I just wanted to try my luck and buy a used PC and have like a second gaming rig just in case. And I found one that I liked and I reached out saying, hey, is this PC available? And it was a woman who was selling it and she said, yes, it's available. By the way, my son recognizes you. Are you... Are you Butters? I essentially got recognized locally uh, trying to buy a PC online and the whole interaction was just very endearing and fun for me and we're gonna be putting the components into a new, more fancy RGB case. I'm really thankful I was able to vlog the experience as well. So you guys get to see the reaction of the mom and the son and it's just really funny because they're like, oh my God, you're a celebrity. I'm like, no, I'm just a Butters. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> but I found this experience to be extremely endearing um, when I went into this, I originally thought I'm going to try and get the best bang for the buck for a PC on Craigslist or Facebook. But once I got recognized and I got to talking to these people, I just thought, you know what? I don't even need to like make a lot of money on this. I just want to enjoy this experience because like I got recognized locally. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't try to barter much at all. Uh, the PC that I bought from him was about $800. We're going to go over the components later on. And I also gave him a G Fuel tub just in case. You never know when you need a G Fuel tub, okay? I think the funniest part was the uh, the text messages because the mom was like, yeah, my son knows you. Uh, feel free to text him. It's his PC. You can, uh, you know, barter with him. So I texted him. I said, hi, Daniel. I'm Hannah from Facebook. Is that PC on the Facebook marketplace still available? He said, yes, it is. This is crazy. LMAO. And I'm just like, I can't believe I can't recognize this. is stupid. He said the first picture she sent me, I was literally like, that's not her, because I instantly recognized your face. And like, that's so cool. He recognized my face. But I asked him, how on earth did you know me? He said, I used to play COD. I've known you since way before SOAR, which I thought was cool. He said that he used a trick shot and free for all snipe. A, eh? big props. But yeah, we got to talking casually about video games and life, and I don't know, it was a really good conversation, and I feel like I couldn't have bought this PC off of anybody else and had the same experience. Like, it was just really cool. So by the way, this guy's name's Daniel. Can I say his name? I think I can. He gave me his at on Twitter. So if you guys wanna go like say hi to him, I'll leave his Twitter down in the description below. Be like, yo bro. Just just say yo bro. Don't even say where you're coming from. Just say yo bro. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys off on the actual clips of the transaction. Hi, are you Daniel? Oh, yeah. hi. hi, nice to meet you. Hey. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm Daniel. Nice to meet you. Nice Hello. Yeah, you're not Hannah, you're both. <laughs> can't do this to me. <laughs> hi. Oh, oh yeah. Hi, I had that hug. Oh, wonderful. Oh. oh my gosh, that's, oh, that's so cool. You know how funny it was just being, just perusing Facebook. I'm like, I could use a gaming PC. I could, you know, I want to make a video out of yeah. this. And I just messaged you, hey, it's still available. My son knows you. Are you butters? I'm like, there's <laughs> the, the first, no way. The first picture she sent me, I'm like, that's not her. <laughs> it can't be. It was. Like the first thing. You can barely even see your face. Yeah, it's your sideways. Side. Side. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm that's like, right. I'm like, that's not her. That's so cool. <laughs> It, it's like a celebrity. I said, <laughs> tell him that we can't leave. Tell her to. I said, tell her that we can't leave until I put on my makeup because I'm meeting a celebrity. <laughs> I'm not a celebrity. Yes, okay, you are. No, I'm not. If my son knows you, you're a celebrity. No. Oh god, I'm gonna get so embarrassed. <laughs> She's a celebrity, you know. No, I just play video games on the internet. That's all I do. Oh. Do you want to be on the vlog? I'm trying to vlog your face. Can I vlog your face? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. What up? <laughs> I'm buying this guy's PC. I have bought the PC. <laughs> And I have a G Fuel tub. Here you go. Now, whose code do you use? Butters. That's right. Butters. <laughs> yeah, you want to. Dude, it was so good to meet you. Me too. Thank you so much, man. Bye -bye. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that was cool. That was <laughs> yeah, how about that? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys to the IT studio. So here we go. Hello. We are back in the IT studio and I am extremely cold, so I'm putting on my blanket because I am cold. But I want to go ahead and read to you guys the components that I have in the PC. In this PC, we have the Asus Maximus 9 Hero, which is about $180 new. We also have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 3000 megahertz RAM. Goes for about $105. We also have an i7-7700K, which goes for about $385. We have the H100i V2 cooler, which goes for about, I think, $170, $180, something like that. We have a Western Digital Black Series 1TB hard drive, which goes for about $70, I think. We have a Samsung 860 Evo SSD, 250 gigs for $60. An EVGA 850 watt gold certified power supply thing for $140 about. 
So overall the build's about $1,100, $1,200 as it is now. However, I'm also gonna be adding a graphics card because this PC did not come with a graphics card. I'm gonna be adding the old graphics card that I had in my system before I got my RTX 2080. It is an MSI GTX 1070 Ti Duke. It's got a name, Duke. And that goes for about $400, $500, $500 I think right now. So that's gonna bring the build up to about $1,600 to $1,700. I'm not gonna include the case because obviously I'm not gonna be using this case anymore. I'm gonna be putting it inside of this case. But yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and read off the PC components because I know some PC nerds want to know. So there you go. But now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this case. This is the Game Dios Talos P1 case, PC case thing that they have. It looks nice, it's got a lot of RGB, it definitely has the appearance of a gamer PC, which I like. Literally around the time that I was searching for PCs on the Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist, uh, Game Dios reached out to me and said, hey, we have a PC case, you wanna check it out? I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. So they sent it to me for review purposes. I'm not being paid to say that it's cool. So just letting you know, I'm just gonna use it because I genuinely do think it's cool. <sighs> Dogs. Too many dogs. Can I help you? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the components down in the description below, including the case as well, if you guys wanna go check it out. And let's go ahead and move these components from that case to that case. It's gonna be great. We're just moving components. It's gonna be cool. That's what we're doing. I don't wanna take off my blanket because my blanket's like really warm right now. <sighs> I must do it. Oh, it's cold. Hello? Where did this little grommet come from? What do you want? I don't know why it was just sitting here. Okay. Also, I want to point out my favorite thing on this case. It's got a DVD drive. <laughs> what even are discs anymore? Oh my god, y'all see the radiator? It's so dusty. Wait, can y'all like... I don't know if y'all can see it, but like... Damn, it's got some use. Alright, I've popped in an IO shield, but I've never popped out an IO shield. Well, that was easy. It's been a journey to get to the radiator so I can remove it. Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh. And I had to remove this fan to the side, but uh, you could tell that something was spilled here. If it'll focus, yep. Looks like somebody had some coffee and they spilled it, but now if we take out this radiator, we are saving it. Oh my God, this took me like 20 minutes to fish out of the case. It's looking pretty rough, so I'm gonna take it outside and dust it off and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's disgusting. There are dust bunnies everywhere on the floor now. I would have gone outside, but it's like dark outside, so I don't want to go outside. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's way better. Okay friends, so something funny that just happened, uh, but I didn't record it because I didn't think I needed to. So I had a problem with this case, right? I needed to get the top part off. It was really important so I could wrap the, the radiator in here. However, I couldn't get the top part off. I couldn't see any screws, I couldn't see anything. So I'm like, what do I do? So I asked my dad, he's like a very mechanical engineering kind of guy. I'm like, hey dad, I can't get this off. Do you have any idea? He comes in, brute force just, and it pops off and it flies up and it almost hits the ceiling and it falls down. It's still on the floor. Let me show y'all. There he is. He's, he's, he went on a trip, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> and um, when that happened, I thought that maybe it would break or something. Nope, seems to be perfectly fine. Seems pretty sturdy, so that's good. But I do wanna show y'all because this does have um, LED lights on the sides here, if you can see um, that all lights up. Uh, it is powered by this cable. And when it was ripped off of the top of the case, um, this ripped out relatively easily. So I I mean, I'm gonna hope that this still, the LED lights still work on the case. Um, I guess we'll find out when we fully assemble this thing. But yeah, next up, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put on the CPU cooler, the AIO. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, you know. That is a dusty power supply. We must fix it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a slight clearance issue here with the hard drive bay and the power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hard drive bay and then we're gonna put this in and we'll figure it out from there. Y'all see this? Here we have the hard drive, right? Pretty, pretty basic, you know, usually, yeah, looks like that. 
We have the little SSD guy. <laughs> He's in his own big tray. Look at him. He means well. He's just a little guy. He's a little guy who doesn't want to focus. There you go. Little guy. Hey, I got a little bit carried away. Um, my bad. Pretty much did most of the cable management that I wanted to. Hello, friends. So we are pretty much done with the PC, but I made a slight oversight. Um, <laughs> we don't have the right power cables for the GPU, which I should have thought of, honestly, because this PC didn't come with the GPU. We're adding it, and I just didn't, like, factor that in. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the progress that I've made. Doesn't it look nice? It feels like a carbon copy of the other PCs that I've built, honestly. It's just, like, all black slash gunmetal slash gray and then like, I don't know. Looks very similar to my other ones. Once I boot it up, it'll have like some RGB, so it'll look a little different maybe, but as of right now, as you guys can see, I don't have the right power cables for this GPU. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take out the GPU and I'm going to just try and post test to make sure that everything works right now. Is this it? Whoa! Oh my God, look at the colors! <gasps> do you guys see the colors? Reach a reach screen, come on. You can do it. Is it? Uh oh. <gasps> it's reached the screen. Oh my god, it took a while and I totally just kicked the cardboard box, but it reached the screen. <gasps> Yay. We did it. Yay. The case swap was successful. <gasps> you guys gotta see these RGB fans. Hold up. Can I like turn out a light so y'all can see it even better? Hold on, let me just get y'all set up right here so y'all can see properly. All right, I'm gonna turn out one of my lights. Damn. What if I turn out both? Oh, it's gonna get dark in here. Let's go. Oh my god! Wow. Those are some lights, let me tell you. Damn! We make sure that all the fans are spinning up. Yep, all the fans are spinning up. And yeah, it's looking good. It says there's a CPU fan speed error. I might have that in the wrong header, so that might do it. Yeah. Okay, that's an easy fix. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a lot lighter now. All right, come here, PC. So we are finally done with this PC build. Ta-da! We've done it. We took a PC off of the Facebook Marketplace and we made it pretty. We put it inside an RGB case and it looks really cool. It might sound a little loud on the camera right now because of the fans, but rest assured, this side panel, if you like swing it around and you close it, it's very quiet. Which by the way, that's a pretty cool feature. You have these side panels, then you can just turn them like this. It's kind of cool. The sides are also tempered glass, but I do want to go ahead and mention that I think the tempered glass is like super, super dark. I haven't worked with a lot of tempered glass, but like this is definitely the darkest I have worked with. And I like it to an extent, but like, I don't know. I can't really see my components that well through it. You can see RGB lights really well, but not necessarily components, which is, you know, aesthetically pleasing for some people. I do want to go ahead and say the cables that I picked for the power supply are not pretty. I don't like them. They look a lot prettier online. I don't really care for them for this build, but that's okay. Maybe I can reuse them down the line. Maybe I can replace this with, you know, different power cables. Not a big deal. The blue just like reminds me of cheerleading and gymnastics. I, I don't know why, but it does. But anyways, I've thoroughly enjoyed building in this PC case. Uh, there's a whole bunch of lighting effects that you can do on the front of the case, um, and it'll cycle through like tons of options, whether it just be static colors, breathing colors, pulsing, uh, this rainbowy effect, if you will. I will say one of my biggest complaints about this case so far, I like the case a lot. I actually really enjoyed building in it. Um, but one thing I did not like was these little back panels back here. They are not, like you can't screw them back in. You have to pop them out and then they're, they're out forever. I don't like that. If I'm going to be buying an expensive case, I want to be able to screw them back in because I'm going to be using this PC for long periods of time. I'm going to be switching out graphics cards, you know? That might not bother some of y'all, but it bothered me. Also, another thing about this case that was probably my biggest complaint was the back panel itself. Um, there's enough room to do cable management, but with the side panel being magnetic and being on a hinge, um, it would just pop off. Like, I did pretty good cable management. I'm not, I'm not an expert, don't get me wrong, but like, I had it pretty flattened down. I think I did a pretty good job, but the case said no. And I couldn't get it closed, so I had to use double-sided tape. Um, and I would totally show you guys, but I really don't want to because then I'm afraid that I'll have to like, fight to get it back closed again, so. 
But overall, I really did enjoy building in this case. I love the RGB. If you guys want RGB straight out of the gate, I think this case is pretty good for that. And if you like dark tempered glass, you'll like this case too. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little bit different, another techie video. If you guys want to see more tech videos from me, please comment down below and let me know what you guys would want to see. Um, I will say, for those who are like stumbling across my channel, I'm not a tech channel. I am such a noob when it comes to tech stuff. I may have my bachelor's in information technology, but I'm still a noob when it comes to like this whole PC building crowd, so go easy on me, okay? Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye-bye. It's so pretty. Should I turn off the lights? Oh, let's turn off the lights. I didn't even think about that. Okay, ready? Light one. And light two. Whoa, my God. That looks so nice on camera. Oh, hold on. I have to bring y'all clothes for this masterpiece. Damn. Doesn't it look nice in the dark? I haven't like adjusted the RGB inside the case or anything. Like I literally just powered this on, it posts and everything, but yeah, I think it looks pretty darn good.